Okay, let's do something completely different. And actually, that's the second time I said that today, because I started, actually, I, I made this video um, already, and when I edited it, edited it all together, um, yeah, I'm sorry, English is hard for me. Um, it was like 45 minutes long. <laughs> I'm thinking, that is way too long to be watching a video about these things right here. This is the high voltage converter. Uh, right here, got them on eBay. Actually, here's what it uh, here's what it looks like on eBay. So these things are cheap. They're fun to play around with as long as you don't shock yourself. Um, now I had one already. You may remember um, I did a video um, of this. This is uh, Anakin Skywalker's Pod Racer, and I used one of these as the energy binder right in here. And in case you haven't seen that, here's here's. A clip of that in action. And unfortunately, um, you know, after I played with it and made that video, I took it to work and showed my friends and everybody thought it was cool. And um, I brought it back home, I showed it to my son, it worked, it was fine. And then I went to do it again and it just was dead, wouldn't do anything. So I took it apart. I took the module back out. This is where I had the module wires attached onto it here. I'll put a video of the build of this, or I'll put a link to that build video at the end of this one, in case you haven't seen it, you can go back and watch how I built the whole thing. Um, and with that one that failed, I took it apart, <laughs> kind of, if you want to call that taking it apart. I pulled off the heat shrunkable plastic that was over top of this, which is just epoxy. They coated, they potted all of the circuitry in solid epoxy. So I'm not going to grind into that to find a circuit because it, it would be really a waste of time and make a huge mess. So you can't really take those apart. Um, if you want to buy one and try it, you have at it. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's not going to be a fun job to try to do that. So I wanted to do, I wanted to put a video together making, uh, doing some experiments with these just to see what all you could do with them. Now, most of the time, I've seen guys use these just to make their own little homemade tasers. Uh, people use them to ignite stuff. Um, I'll use it eventually to uh, to ignite my liquid fuel rocket motor that I would like to make one of these days, but, you know, probably won't. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to do some experiments to find out um, what these things could do. Um, and like I said, it was like 45 minutes long. So I'm just going to kind of paraphrase here everything I did. The reason why it was so long is because most of my experiments failed. I mean, nothing nothing wanted to work. So what I'll do is I'll just brief, ex briefly explain what I tried to do, and I'll show you some clips of what actually did happen. Uh, for one, I tried to make a Jacob's Ladder. And this is just a really quickly thrown together Jacob's Ladder. Normally, when you make a Jacob's Ladder, you're going to use something like a neon sign transformer, like the old style neon sign transformer. If you use a newer type, um, from what I've read online, the those create their high voltage in a different way. Uh, so you want to use the old style, um, the old vintage ones, and those should work. This, all it does, it just keeps arcing right in here. It never climbs up the ladder. It just keeps the arc way low here. And the reason why it does that at least this is why I think it does it. If you have any other thoughts, please feel free and put it in the comments. This does not make a continuous um, a, a, an arc. It's like a pulse. Uh, you can actually record it in slow motion, and um, it's just like a it's like a zap, 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 zap. So every time it arcs, it shuts off and makes a new arc. It's not a continuous thing, so it doesn't allow it to rise all the way up. So um, again, I'll just show you a clip of that with it just kind of arcing down in here. Uh, so here's what that looks like. So it's, it's, uh, it's not rising up the thing. Um, but we got a nice little zap. Let me just spread those out a tiny bit. Try that again. Okay, so yeah, that didn't work, uh, which I kind of didn't think it would. Well, actually, I knew it wouldn't because a friend of mine tried the same thing. He told me what happened, but I wanted to try it for myself. I just wanted to see it for myself. Um, the other thing I did was I connected the outputs to a light bulb. Um, I was assuming it was going to blow the element in the light bulb. It didn't. In fact, it didn't do anything. 
So then I tried putting to one end of the light bulb and then to the glass, seeing if I could jump an arc through, uh, you know, from the element to the edge of the glass through this. And again, it didn't do anything. And the reason why that video is so long is because I was futzing around with all the stuff that just didn't work. And um, I, I would feel bad making you waste your time watching me do stuff that just doesn't work. So, but I did come across something kind of interesting. Um, so here, here's the clip of that with the light bulb, and I kind of found this by mistake, but here's, here's what I'm talking about that, uh, that was kind of cool. Um, if any of you guys had the same thoughts or same ideas, you can save some time and not do it. Let's just make sure this module still works. Oh, wow, look at that. Did you see that? It's lighting up inside the bulb like I wanted in the first place. Look at that. That, what just happened there, that was pretty cool. I'm glad I tried that. Let me zoom into this a bit. And I know it's glass, but yeah, I'm chicken. All right, it's fine. Let's try that now. All right, check this out. Ah, look at that. How cool is that? Sounded weird. Let's try that again. Whoa. That is pretty cool. I don't know why it wasn't working very well earlier. Do you see that? All right, so check it out. It's not making a spark. Watch what happens and bring it close enough. Of course it didn't do it again. Hopefully it's not the first time. I like that. Um, it was starting to make the element glow a little bit, um, but it was a lot closer when it was doing that. So let's bring them even closer like that. Let's try that. All right, it's doing something now. Oh, come on. No, it's not. Oh, it was touching. So it can't be touching. <laughs> All right. Well, it did something. Not exactly what I expected, but uh, it did do something. All right. Um, and also, actually, you know, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself because the first thing I did was I set this up um, on a um, so I could spread those apart and put them together because. These are rated to run off of three to six volts. And actually it doesn't say it on the box, but when you look at them on eBay, it says three to six to 40,000 volts. Uh, most people say it's more like 30,000 than 40,000, but um, everybody else I've seen on YouTube, I uh, ran it off of a nine volt battery. So I always ran it off of a nine volt battery. And I think that's why the one failed that was in a pod racer because I was running off of nine volts and I'm assuming that eventually that nine volts will fry it. Either that or these things just are actually only worth a couple of bucks and they just eventually fail. I, I really don't know. Um, so I, the first experiment I did, you could actually see my notes written down here. Um, I tried at three volts and I gradually moved them apart until they just wouldn't fire anymore. And the max was a little over half an inch. With six volts, you're looking at 0.7 inches and at nine volts, only 0.6 inches. And when you put them at, say, 0.5 or 0.6, and then you try it with 9 volts versus 6 volts, 6 volts gives you a much more intense snap, a much louder, more intense snap. So these things just like 6 volts. They run on 6 volts so much better than 9 volts. Um, but here's, here's, here's a clip of, of doing that experiment. Maybe 0.55. All right, let's try that. Yeah, it's starting to make that little sizzle noise, which I was making earlier when it's too far away. It's like it's trying. So I think that's, you know, 0.56. Yeah, 0.56. It just wasn't, um, it started to, then it just kind of quit. 
So let's put those back a little bit closer. That's 0.53. So I think 0.53 inches, you know, it did it again. It keeps, uh, you know what? I wonder if it's the interference from that. Uh, that's something cool. Let's try that. I'm going to take this back and zero it. Okay. So it's on zero inches. And again, that is 0.52. Looks like it moved a little. 0.52. Again, 13 and a half millimeters. Well, let's take a look at this. I'm going to put this right here. And we'll zoom into that so we can see it. And I think this is messing that, that up. Because every time I would get done and I'd re-grab that, it would be off. So let's see what happens there. Uh, do you see? It didn't even arc. And do you see what it did there? Just the interference from that made it, uh, made it mess that up. That is cool. I don't know if I'm screwing up my calipers or not. Um, I hope not. I mean, they were cheap, Harbor Freight, but still. I mean, if it is messing them up, it's too late now. I've already done it. Get those a little bit closer. I was wondering what the heck was going on. I kept having to re-zero the calipers. It's not even arcing, but it's messing up my calipers. All right, I want to get an arc there by the calipers. All right, I'm, I'm scared to touch it. That's got to be close enough. Yeah, it's making this weird sizzle noise. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. But I'm definitely... I'm definitely closer than the 0.5. Re-zero that. Oops. We're at 0.4, which it was working at 0.4. And it's not... It's not arcing anymore, but it is messing up my calipers. So I'm wondering if I fried this one somehow with only three volts. So, uh, I don't know. Those should be plenty close enough. Let's try that close. Let's try that. That should do something. There it goes. So look what it does to the calipers. It completely blanks them out. So, <laughs> yeah, so that, um, that answer is why I kept having to re-zero those. So I don't know why they quit. So again, if you're going to make stuff with this, um, use 6 volts, not 9. 6 volts, it just works better. Probably will last longer. Uh, one thing I will caution you against uh, if you do have them too far apart and you put power to it and it's too far apart to where it doesn't arc, don't just push them together because this will hold a charge and it will shock you. Not near as bad as, you know, it's not the full strength, but it's enough that you'll feel it. And I found that out the hard way um, back before I even made that, um, that pod racer, you know, just playing around with it then. Um, so just be careful with them. Uh, I, I have not shocked myself full strength with one of these and I don't plan on it because I don't like getting shocked. But um, I've seen people on YouTube purposefully zap themselves with it, and it's like, why? You know, why would you do that? It's just stupid. Um, so anyways, um, like I said, I, I, I wanted to redo that because 45 minutes is way too long for what this is all about. Um, so uh, if you guys, if any of you have... Any other ideas for experiments to do with these? I do have another one in the box. I haven't opened yet. Actually, this one. Um, if you have any ideas for experiments, you know, let me know. Put it in the comments if you'd like to see me try stuff with this. Um, and I, I'm, you know, I'm always willing to put out another video, put some, do some more experiments with it. If you had tried this yourself, if you've done this yourself and you got different results, if you were able to make it work better on 9 and 6, then put it in the comments. Let me know. Um, I... Don't think I did anything wrong, but um, for me, these just seem to like six volts better. So, uh, so yeah, if you have any other ideas, if you've done stuff that that you that was pretty cool, uh, let me know and I'll try it too. 
So, um, yeah, let me know what you think. And um, hopefully, take two of this is a whole lot shorter than 45 minutes. Um, so, as always, until next time, thanks for watching.